You've been seeing these two SGI machines just recently on this channel and I noted some imperfections I should still take care for, like replacing this messed up DVD drive or finding a spare bezel so I could yank out this other DVD drive here. So I then found some parts in the meantime to do exactly that. Hey wait, so now you're saying you're doing a video on replacing DVD drives? And that tiny bit couldn't just fit into the previous videos. Really? Ah, come on. I simply didn't know I'd get this stuff so quickly. And I can't always tease that I'm eventually completing the stuff and never actually showing it. So here's my patch up video. So as I said, just these days I had this box coming in containing lots of parts, like drive sleds, drive bezels, uh -huh. drive mounting brackets, a modem, some PCMCIA network cards, various CD-ROM and DVD drives. So the SGI-230 had two drives installed, the original CD-ROM drive and this second DVD drive. Now as the drive is locked using mounting rails, these can be neatly stowed and secured to the side of the drive cage. I'm also moving the original CD-ROM drive to the top position as this was factory default. Now I also got some black front bezels. While they are not the original ones for this type of machine, the one I chose to mount still looks ok and also the color matches. But it has a different color than the rest of the front face. Yes, but it's accurate. The bezel below is the original one belonging to that case and it also does not match up the front face color and not even the drive bezels color. But anyway, the two front faces are now so similar in hue that it's fully acceptable to me. So I was then removing the old drive from the SGI 320 as well. Out of this stack of 6, there was 2 CD-ROM drives and 4 DVD drives and my intention was clearly to put one of the CD-ROM drives into the 320. So after a quick flying test, I was shattered to see it would not move in because it was stuck on that edge of the mainboard carrier plate. Ah, the drive is too deep. So in the end I stuck with a CD DVD rewriter which was not as deep. And while not original, at least it doesn't have that messed up front face of the old drive. So I'm happy with it. And what I'm also happy with is the fact that I now have a complete Circum PCM-CIA card adapter. I had this tail plug since ages in a drawer, but no matching card. And now, with the latest pile of stuff coming in, I got a matching Circum adapter. It's really nice when parts you're accumulating over time eventually complete themselves from various sources. And so with this, I came one small step closer into completing these two machines. I'm the Vintage Collector and this was my short story. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If you check out this channel's community tab, you'll find some polls on potential upcoming videos. You're very welcome to upvote on upcoming topics or drop in new ones you'd like me to chase down.